Hello everyone, this is Har Simran from Lockers. I will give you a quick overview of invoices in this session. I will show you like how to create invoices from different places, how to do the bulk invoicing, how to create a trust as well as credit request, how to email the link for the payment to, to the clients, and how to add payments on the invoices. So the very first thing is you can create invoice from right here. So if you click on work in progress, click to create invoice. So this is you can do a bulk invoicing right from that screen. Other is you click on invoices, click on billable clients, and you can do a bulk invoicing from here. You can add a filter, like if you want to only do the, the bulk invoice for the last month. You see it changed here, or you can do it by attorney as well. There are firms who bill by attorney, so you can do a billing attorney, responsible attorney, or originating attorney. So it will only create invoices for these filters only. Do next, invoice options, and this will create these invoices if we have to. Third way is you click on invoices, click on a new invoice, search for a matter. So let's say I search for Adolf. So if I search for 9290, you see the moment I selected a matter, it says add an invoice activity for Adolf. So this is a very good feature. So you can add an invoice activity on an existing invoice that is in a draft or you can create a new invoice from here like this. You see, again, you can filter by time range if you need to. Click on Add to Invoice. You can use the balances on a trust and matter balances. And if there are some balances on the, on the checkings account, it will automatically be applied. But if you want to apply these funds available, you can do. You can select a template. In Lockers, you can create different type of templates and here you can select a template. By default, it will show the default template. So my default template right now is family law. You can add more time entries and flat entries if you needed and your invoice will look like this. You can add the tax here. So let me show you how to add a tax. So click on add tax and select a tax. You see the factual tax have been added. You can add the discount here if you need to. You can select percentage and amount however you want to do it. And you can save this. And on the save, this will go to an QuickBooks as well. So if I do a save now and cancel it out, you see it was created here and it was created on the QuickBooks as well. So you can click on this and you can go to QuickBooks to take a look at this invoice. You can add a payment from here. You can get the money from, from a trust account, operating account or a direct payment. Select a destination account because this is a, because I just have the operating account. So it will only go to the operating account because it's, it's a regular invoice. If I had like multiple operating accounts, then I can select it. And if I have to create a trust request, so you can click on a trust request and directly create a trust request on payment, the money will go to a trust account. You can create a credit request on payment, the money will go to, to an operating account as an advance. Third way is you can click on, on a matter under financial info you can create invoice from here so currently i don't have an invoice here so let's say i add a flat fee so i say select a category here see here so i will save this and now you see an invoice for 200 dollars so i can create an invoice right from here so click on a create invoice now i can create an invoice like this so if i save this so I will show you now how to mark a payment on invoice. So you can add a payment from here. 
you can take an online credit card payment so for example if a client calls you for an online payment so you can enter the information add the credit card information and to confirm send by email you can send an invoice by email you can include a payment link and they will only be able to pay it on this payment link if you have law pay integrated if you don't have a law pay integrated then they can view the invoice and they can download the invoice you can mark it as sent you can download the pdf and invoice now i will show you like how to bulk email the invoices so click here you can bulk email them you can print them you can download them you can mark as sent also you can filter it here depending on what kind of status you want to see you want to see by the originating attorney or responsible attorney by default we only show the invoices which are in drought partial and sent so you can also see the paid invoices as well so normally you know, like we will only on a client portal we will only show an invoice which has been marked as sent so draft is an invoice which is still you can add it so you have to always mark it as sent so you have to mark as sent like this or open an invoice and then go to the more actions and mark as sent so this gives you like a quick overview of of invoices like in lockers thank you very much